welcome to Hangout Conversations with Matthew Rappaport. That's wonderful music. Thank you, Bobby Joe Woods, for that wonderful intro. And Daniela Armanderas will be our guest coming up shortly. This is Hang On Conversations. This is a platform, an awesome platform on G+. And uh, I'm grateful to Google to use it. It's a really cool platform. I've met a lot of awesome people one-on-one -on -one in groups on hangoutconversations.com. Uh, You're going to meet a lot of people. But on Google Plus Hangouts, I met so many cool people. Bobby Joe Woods, Daniel, we've all, be, all been using Google Plus since the beginning. And uh, we're just meeting each other and uh, loving the interactions going on. And I hope with this show that more and more people can find Google Plus and they can find out about Hangouts and be more comfortable, whether they're watching my show or, say, Hangout Party or Hangout Cast or, or another show uh, or right on the network itself because it's a really awesome platform. And I'm excited, excited, excited to be here. Our first show, our premiere show, and uh, we have Cats. So if you know about Catterday, which you might hate or love, we got that on the show on occasion. And we have some cool music and cool people. After the show is over, those of you watching on live stream will get a link. And you'll be able to be part of Conversations Plus, which will happen immediately after this show. But uh, let's get right to it. My first guest, he hails from the heartland down in Texas, where he enjoys working for Plus Michael Dell, local fine Austin eateries, and he enjoys indie music. He's a spinner himself. He's the one. He's the only DJ Daniel Armanderes. <laughs> Welcome. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Awesome to have you as our first guest here on Hangout Conversations. Thank you for bearing with us. Apparently, you can see we are totally working it, working it hard, working it good. How are you doing today? Good. Just ready to go out on the town. Go to the bash. Cool. So the very first thing I'd like to do on the show is something I call opening random question. And as you can see, I have four questions. Two, three, four. Pick a number. Any number. I don't know. I don't know uh, if the numbers four. are bad. Okay. For $10 million, what song do you go – what song do you play to get you all pumped up and, and cheered up? And, and why do you do that? Like what? What? What's? What inspires you? Is there a certain song that you listen to, say, in the car when you're going to a gig, or, or, or just you need to feel good? Is there one that comes to mind offhand, or, or um, two? Probably no one will know about it, but it's a uh, okay. soft circle. Mm -hmm. First time. That's. I mean, I love a lot of music. Uh, I love eclectic music taste, like jazz, like indie. Indie's my favorite, and of course, pop. I mean, um, everything. So soft circle. I'm not is... much of a country person. I'll do some country songs, but not country and not like metal hardcore. Although I do like um, Nightwish, Bless the Child, which is uh, considered a metal song, but it's one of the few I like. Very cool. So what soft circle itself? I don't. I'm not familiar with soft circle being. <clears throat> being I know this face looks young, but I'm a little older, and uh, I don't necessarily know soft circle. Well, they're they're a band. They're an electronic band that I feature on my show. Like my last show was like KBRX. Mm -hmm was at the end of August. So that was my last DJ show. That was KVRX 91.7 FM, Austin, that I broadcast live from the University of Texas at Austin. In Austin, Texas, hence I'm the graduate, hook them horns. My yeah, I see that ram. horn. I see the ram on your shirt. Yeah. Very cool. Um, it's not a ram. I'm going to kill you for saying that. No, it's, it's not it's a, a ram. Longhorn. <laughs> a longhorn. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I know I know the Texas longhorns. I know that. And then they rival the te te uh, eight Texas a a t a t m no, a and m Aggies. A &M, a &M Aggies and then, yeah. uh, My brain is is off sports right now. Football is just coming back and uh, awesome. No, uh, that's really cool. You know, I, I probably just do the standard Eye of the Tiger or or I really like that song from Karate Kid. You're the best around. I that pumps me up. You know, uh, but we don't have the rights to that song, so I won't be singing too yeah. much of it. But uh, cool, that's awesome. Well, I first met you in a hangout on G Plus. And I believe plus Justin Ormont, because plus is in front of everybody's name on Google, Google Plus, uh, plus Justin, or Justin Ormont. And uh, when we first met at Hangout, I know we were talking about Google and Microsoft and Dell and, and different jobs uh, that were going on. 
and you might have been in bed during that first hangout. Do you remember? I don't know if it was we nah, met, we had two I, hangouts. I think it was pretty late, but yeah, it might have been. I don't know. Yeah, don't yeah. Remember. And uh, you know, we well, had so many we had so many hangouts that uh, they all they all collide together. Yeah, we were in so many hangouts, and uh, but that first hangout was I believe we were talking to Justin about where you worked and different jobs and. And uh, I know that he's been going d through different different employees. What do you want to talk a little bit about what it is you do uh, in the real world when you're not on G plus and uh, and how you feel about it and is it something that you that you that you want to be doing? Uh, basically, I was a server uh, enterprise server technical support analyst at Dell. Mm -hmm. It's basically supporting uh, Microsoft, my, uh, Walmart, other high profile customers. With their server and SAN issues, and and do you enjoy it? Is it is it a good time? Or you what would you what if you had the perfect uh, if you had the perfect job? What would it be? Uh, what would it be? What the would perfect you job be would be winning the lottery and not having to work and traveling <laughs> over, all over the world. Oh, that that would definitely be an awesome awesome thing if you win the lottery. Do you know what the numbers are? What would you play like four, twenty three, twelve? What are you talking about? I don't know. I was close though. One time on I, I was uh, it was a ninety six. I got five out of six numbers. Four. It was a four million dollar lottery jackpot, and I only got like fifteen hundred dollars. That's cool though that you got fifteen hundred dollars. You know, that's pretty but cool. Just to be like, feel like you're one away from the lottery. I could have been a millionaire, four four millionaire in like nineteen ninety six. That would have been really cool. So, um, so you also. But then I wouldn't have met you. I wouldn't have gone to the University of Texas at Austin. I may have gone. I just, I don't know. I may have just invested my money. I don't know. Yeah, but I, I think things happen for a reason, essentially, and I believe like carpe diem, seize the day. Yeah, I believe in carpe diem too, and and uh, Dead Poet Society comes to mind carpe diem for sure. And I love Google Plus, you know, and it's really cool. Um, but you, I think uh, you do love being a DJ, and I would think that maybe if you <clears> had your perfect job, you'd be able to spin and be a DJ every night and and kind of work that angle, maybe. Oh yeah, if I if I could do, see, I don't spin like there's like. Uh, like I was last night at a Dead Mouse show with Tommy Lee and and uh, Excision and all that. Like they do spins like when they when they're they're mixing the music together. When you're a DJ in a radio station, you just play different songs or requests. I, I enjoy doing that, talking to the people, taking online requests, playing music people want to hear. I mean, I would love to play like popular music, but being that it's a college radio station and it's volunteer, and uh, you, it, basically you don't get paid anything. It's just the joy of doing it. Um, I love playing like the indie artists. I've met a different, a lot of different artists. Like I met the Bright Light Social Hour. They're a real big band here in Austin, Texas. They won a bunch of Austin Music Awards, and I actually met them. I still have their phone numbers, and basically uh, had them at one of our artist hours for like an hour show. We would do at KBRX on Saturday nights, and played their whole album. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, that's pr that's yeah. cool. So what so what would you say uh, some of your biggest influences are? Do you have a couple of DJs that you really admire? Uh, did you did you were you into DJ AM? Were, you know what? Talk a little bit about your musical influences. Um, I think music. I was basically just growing up around my home. All the music I listened to when I was a kid, like I'll listen to like Sam Cooke. I'll listen like Bring It On Home. I'll listen to jazz. There's a great jazz bar here in Austin, Texas, the Elephant Room. If you're ever here, uh, it's like the only room, the only I guess bar I would go and actually pay a cover for. This is some, some good jazz. Um, let's see what else. Well, that's pretty um, cool. Yeah, I would love to go to Austin. I hear it's a great, great, great town, and they have lots of great music and indie film. And uh, I would love to visit you and you know have a hurl, a hangout in real life it would be really fun. Um, yeah. The other uh, the other thing is I guess we had two two DJ trainings, and I guess they were like my first DJs I actually worked with at the station. It's Selector J. He's still there on the station. He does the reggae show, which is every Thursdays from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Central Time. That's kbrx.org. They live stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Uh, he would probably be my influence, I, and I played a lot of reggae. I never used to play a lot of reggae before I met him, and he was training me on all, how to use all the buttons and things at the station. Essentially, it's like a lot of buttons. Look at the look at the form. It look it looks like it's very exciting when you're on the other end, like listening to you at the at – the, uh, in the, I guess on the radio or online streaming, but actually doing it and doing the job or thinking about what song you're going to play next or what promo you have to do, it's a lot more intense than you think. Of how easy it would be on the uh, on the air. Yeah, that's funny you mentioned it because I'm I'm actually hosting the show and trying to get technical stuff going as, as well with Bobby Joe Woods. 
Uh, we do have a couple of questions from the audience that I that I want to definitely include our live audience uh, on the HangoutConversations.com uh, if you don't mind. So we have a first question comes to us from KMAP JR in Detroit. Hey, have you so have you seen the new Michigan State uniforms yet from Nike? Have you? No, but I've seen the, the Oregon ones. And need, I've seen the Oregon ones, and they need to stop there. Just stick with Oregon. They're thinking about doing the same thing to Texas. There was some stuff on Twitter. Uh, somebody is posting some uh, fan art design for a new Nike uniform for UT. I just think they should keep it the way it is. Because I'm sure you have a lot of Longhorn Nation. <clears throat> yeah, that's Excuse cool. me, Longhorn Nation basically uh, against it. They want to just keep it traditional, keep it the way things are. Thank you for answering that. Thank you for your question, KMAP Jr., because that's a name, but that's cool. And uh, now we have Shane McKenna from Chicago. I just want to know about uh, what's going the situation in Austin that there were some fires going on. Is everything safe? Are you okay down there? I know there's a yeah, there Texas were fires. drought. There were fires in uh, Bastrop, and then there was a arson. I think they determined it was arson for the Steiner Ranch fire. They haven't determined what caused the Bastrop fire, if it was just heat or what, or camping. Uh, but there's a burn ban in effect. I don't know how they're going to implement it at ACL this weekend, but like, there's supposed to be no smoking. I don't know how they're going to do that in a big event like Austin City Limits Music Festival. Uh, my friend's a firefighter, and he uh, I ran into him when I was listening to one of my other DJ friends, uh, Jesse Bretty, and, uh, it was like last weekend. And uh, he said, yeah, he says they've gotten it under containment and uh, basically just have to go different days to try to keep it out. But it's, it's, it's under control now. It's, it's over, I think it's over 50%, 60% contained. But when you have over 85 degrees, eight, I mean, 85 days of over 100 degree to heat, I mean, what do you expect? Yeah, that's pretty wild. The The weather has been pretty crazy. You guys have the drought down in Texas here in New York. We had an earthquake on the East Coast. We had a hurricane. We had other stuff going on. The The winters have been crazy. Tons of crazy stuff. But so, but thanks for that question, Shay McKenna. And I really hope you guys get some rain, you know. And I know there are a lot of other Texans on Google+. Plus, Lori Days Hotels and Kimberly Shoemaker and lots of other people from Texas that we met on Google+, Plus and Hangouts and other stuff. So, um... You know, real uh, another question I have from Kimberly Shoemaker: Do you spine vinyl or spine? Do you spine? Or, do you spin? Do you spin vinyl? And what is your opinion on the tractor and Sarah Serato beat matching and auto tune? Did you get that uh, question? I don't. Basically, I don't. Uh, uh, Selector J does all vinyl. The guy that does the reggae show on uh, KBRX that trained me. I did it for our training, but I. I mean, every. <clears throat> excuse me, man. Everyone nowadays is essentially doing stuff off their iPod or their computer. Like for me, I would do it off my computer and then play stuff out of what we call the new bin off CDs. But the majority of the people, they do vinyl uh, that do other shows. But even at the, the show I went to um, with my friend that's DJing, it was off of his computer. And Tommy Lee and Dead Mouse, they do it off all computers or the little DJ devices. There's no like actual vinyl or anything going on. As far as uh, auto tuning, if it sounds good, <clears throat> excuse me, man. If it sounds I good, I wish I could give you some water. Sorry, I don't. I hear some. Yeah, I know. Some I need water. to get some. I should have gotten some. That's all right. Um, if it sounds good, I say great. But if not, then then if it sounds good to you, then I say you like it. If not, it's whatever to each his own. Cool, cool. Thank you, Kimberly Shoemaker, for that question. I want to do something real quick uh, that we call on the show. It's going to be called it's called G for Google Plus G four, uh, like you have almost four notifications or or four. And this one was inspired by Plus Joseph Lee, my brosif in, in cat training. Joseph Lee inspired this one. Uh, G four is a series of this or that kind of questions, some weird type of like quick questions, and then right after G four, we're going to go into to some more quick quick questions. In another, seg in another segment, and we do have some audience stuff. Uh, we might extend the show a little bit. You know, this is the this is the first time doing the show, and it's been pretty cool so far. Uh, we're about 16 minutes in. Does it feel like we've been talking for about 15, 14 minutes? Because I yep. don't think it really yeah, does. That's, that's the way it is. Like when you're on the air and, and DJing, basically uh, it goes by fast. Like I'm there an hour, two hours, and the time goes by fast. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, pretty. It's, it's things pretty... go things go by fast when you're having fun. Ferris Bueller, very good, cool, very Ferris Bueller quote. 